Hey, this is Paul from Shiny Cash Buyers. I'm here in Dallas, Texas. I'm on a 45 city tour of the US and we're looking at different areas uh, to basically myth busting. Where do Chinese buy? What do they want? How to get Chinese buyers wherever you are? Because we have a lot of people who uh, think that their area is different. They think that Chinese won't buy in their area and they think it's not gonna happen. And then when it does happen, they're surprised and they say, oh, you know, uh, I knew it was going to happen, but they didn't know and they didn't prepare and they didn't sell any houses. So we're here in all these different areas. Dallas, Texas is a good example because it's not known as a, I would say it's not known as a Chinese friendly area or it's not known as a area where Chinese stand, regularly buy. Austin, Texas has, uh, you know, you had Jeremy Lin in Houston uh, with the Houston Rockets. You had uh, Yao Ming with the Houston Rockets. Uh, you have one of the best, uh, nation's best school districts in Austin. and. You have uh, Houston, which has a massive Chinese population. Now, Dallas, Texas is not famous for Chinese. But let me tell you something that's really interesting. I came here to find out, to tell the story so that you can tell the story to your buyers and you could put it on your blog. Here's a great story. Plano, Texas, okay, which is right next to Dallas, it's a, you know, I don't think it's about 17 miles away, is, has a massive Chinese population. And the reason why, is very interesting actually, was after slavery was abolished, uh, the, the plantation owners imported Chinese workers from San Francisco in mass. So tons of Chinese came over here to work on the, plant, the, the uh, sugar plantations and different plantations, right? So those, the, the descendants of those people are still here. And Plano, Texas has a massive Chinese population. Even though it's not famous at all for anything else, it has the sixth largest uh, Chinese population in America. Uh, and obviously Chinese will, will buy in that area. But we're right here nearby in Dallas, and you got your you got Houston, which is a magnet for Chinese, and Austin, which is more because of the great schools and very. Uh, it's a very young city. It has the most uh, percentage of single, highest percentage of singles in the United States. So because of the University of Texas and all the great schools, but Dallas, what could you do if you were an agent in Dallas, right? What you could do is just a few things you could do. One is you could promote Texas in general. Texas is definitely on the map of Chinese, and the reason why is Yao Ming. I think it's hard to understand, as a non-Chinese, how big Yao Ming was, and how big he is to Chinese people. He was massive. He was the first Chinese to play in the NBA, and he also played very well, and he brought massive revenue to the Houston Rockets, and still does. And still, Chinese, they have, there's a large percentage of Chinese who buy season tickets for the Rockets, and they play the Rockets games. Even though Yao Ming is gone now, they play the Rockets games in China. And basically, basketball is also on the map because of this. I mean, that's how big it is. It actually brought basketball. I was in Shanghai where Yao Ming's from. I actually played on the court that he made. He made a court behind the Ritz-Carlton, and I played on that court. Now it's gone. Uh, it's, it's now like a school or something, but it's, it's gone now. But he had a court. I went by his, his hometown. I mean, Yao Ming is so huge in Chinese uh, modern uh, culture. And so you have sports, right? You have stories around that. You have oil. You have uh, the historical Chinese here. And because you have so many Chinese that have come, uh, like say 100 years ago, 200 years ago, those have built an infrastructure which makes it very attractive. So what you have to do as a realtor is you have to show people that. So you have to show people the food. In, here in Dallas, it's not famous for Chinese food, but there's, there's a uh, Chinatown here. I think Rich, Richardson, Rich, I believe it's Richardson. Either way, there's a Chinatown here in, in uh, Dallas and they have uh, quite a few good Chinese restaurants or you know, the, the, your buyers will consider good Chinese restaurants. And also a good place for you to go, go have dinner and uh, suss out the situation uh, in your area. I think a lot of it is self-defeating you know, beliefs. People believe that it won't happen. They believe that Chinese wouldn't buy in this area and they don't bother marketing. Right? They say, well, it's not gonna work. I can't do it. You know, they're not gonna buy here. Totally not true, totally not true. If you position yourself as in Texas and you show the, you show the people online what's attractive to this area, food-wise, culture-wise, education-wise, community-wise, uh, and not to mention, I'm here on uh, Lorraine Street. This Lorraine Street is, you're just seeing a, a, a little bare glimpse of it, but Lorraine Street is literally like Beverly Hills. I mean, this place is amazing. I, I, I go to Beverly Hills a lot because I work with an agent there and this looks exactly like Beverly Hills. You wouldn't even know down here. You can't even tell it's not Beverly Hills. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you show these listings to Chinese buyers, 
I guarantee they're going to like them. They will like them. Whether they buy them or not, it's up to you and your skill. So promote the state, promote the city, or sorry, the stories, like the Yao Ming and uh, Jeremy Lin. He was twice uh, in with the Houston Rockets, uh, and he's well known as being kind of attached to the Houston Rockets, although he had his big run with the New York Knicks of 171 points and uh, 64 uh, assists in uh, in seven games to open the season. But either way, he's he's also connected with Yao Ming in people's minds, and he's also a massive star in China. And you see Jeremy Lin t-shirts all over the place. So take advantage of these stories. Mention it in your blog. Mention it on your videos. Show people the food. Show people the area. And talk about how attractive this area is for Chinese buyers because I guarantee a family gets here, they get a lot of face. It's an absolutely beautiful area. I mean, this is just a really, really lovely area. And if you introduce it to Chinese and you're seen as the go-to agent for an area like this, it might not be a get rich quick, but it's definitely a get rich slow. And Chinese will like this area. So promote it using stories, using history, using food, everything you can. And then obviously down to uh, the fact that it's a fantastic real estate. It's a beautiful real estate. And uh, people here are very friendly, very welcoming. So that's it. Busting Myths here in Dallas, Texas. And we're on to Oklahoma City next. Thank you very much for watching. To get your Chinese, your free mini course, where I'll give you some really good information about getting started with Chinese buyers, totally free. Go to ChinaCashBuyers.com, ChinaCashBuyers.com, and just put in your email and you'll get it in your inbox. And please watch those videos and study those videos because they give you a uh, they can change your life. They can change your business. So on to Oklahoma City. Thank you very much for watching from Lorraine Street here in uh, Dallas, Texas. Paul Salo signing off.